believe uh, organizations that see AI as a pure uh, technology decision or investment that's fairly short-sighted, I think. And we have seen uh, a quite high adoption rate in enterprises around AI, so more than 80% of enterprises state that AI is a key element of their strategy. However, a fairly small portion of uh, enterprises have been able to scale AI. Uh, we, we, can, we think it's probably less than a fourth of enterprises are successful in scaling AI. Let me share a few examples in the maybe more, the more uh, social and, and people area. Uh, so, for example, uh, as you may know, I'm, I'm German, and you know that in, in Europe we have uh, quite some, some challenges to manage uh, around uh, migration and, and refugees. So we work for the uh, Federal Office of uh, Migration and Refugees in Germany, help them building a AI competence center, which is, of course, around uh, upskilling, uh, providing an, an incubator for, for innovation. But it's also about um, developing solutions that are practical, uh, practically in use for, for their organizations. So for example, uh, applying uh, pattern recognition in text mining to find out the, the identity matching of, of people, uh, figuring out from it what area they're from and validating the identity they, they give, or uh, uh, developing models to prevent from fraud, so, so fraudulent uh, data abuse of people working with migration data. But one of the key misunderstandings around AI is that people think it answers big, big questions. In fact, it's more about smallish but many, many incremental uh, improvements. So uh, to illustrate this a little bit, if you think of agriculture, uh, agriculture works uh, very well if you do uh, very precise uh, optimizations for small pieces of land, very individualized treatments for small partitions of land. And the, but the challenge is to, to do this uh, at large scale. We asked about the corporate world. We are, we are pretty much concerned about the question, how is AI perceived both by, by consumers or people or, or employees? And we did some, some research, research about this. Um, one example, in, in commerce, um, Interestingly, a large majority of people uh, is, is feel com feels comfortable interacting with AI in a, in a yeah, sales conversation. As long as they are being made aware of it. They're aware that there's an AI involved, about two, uh, three quarter of people feel comfortable with it. And, and uh, interestingly, more than half of them actually seeks advice from what we call AI-based recommenders, even if they purchase something complex like a car. The, the, the biggest challenge, and that, that was the, the key question, is, 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 is two things. One is, is scaling. Uh, almost every organization struggles uh, to scale AI. Many of them have shifted their strategy from dealing with many, many small pilots and use cases more towards uh, more comprehensive, smaller, but, but more effective initiatives. So fewer, but, but, but with, with more funding, more comprehensively. And the second, uh, let's say, element that may slow down the, the adoption curve a bit is, of course, the growing awareness around ethics and trust. Uh, we spoke about, about this several times. So enterprises feel a lot of pressure, both from their shareholders, but also from their employees to, to, uh, to behave in an ethical manner and to apply AI in, in an ethical manner. Um, one more remark on how we feel AI could be even more successful. One is, um, and, uh, and uh, John mentioned already, uh, AI works best in a, in a human-machine combination. So uh, when investing into AI, it's absolutely key to also invest into upscaling people that work with the technology. If you don't do that, the effect will be, will be less than, than expected. Trust is a very important currency in AI. And we believe that um, the corporate world also relies on progress in the, let's say, more public or social society area because AI proving its effect in society will uh, massively increase a positive um, image and a positive perception and that will reflect back on the corporate world and make, make it more successful there. So there's a strong, let's say, a benefit when, when both worlds would collaborate. I believe uh, organizations that see AI as a pure uh, technology decision or investment 
that's fairly short-sighted, I think. One is, one is um, if you look at the successful companies around AI, they, they, have a, they have a culture around data that, that means if it's, we, have a, we have a lot of change management in our own culture, around data. It's about the organization agility to, uh, to, to work in a certain way. It's about the, um, it's about the skills, etc. So, so don't make the mistake to, to see AI just as a, as a technology enabler. It's, it's an entrepreneurial organizational topic to address.